。潜水的人心潮澎湃，热血流过动脉，别让梦想带着遗憾醒来。总有人被世界淘汰，总有人被记载，在这尔虞我诈的舞台，挺过。One more question. I've known of your intentions to pursue Nalan. Am I at par with her? What's going on with you today? Asking questions out of nowhere. What are you getting at? Answer me! Let me tell you, deep in my heart, Nalan will never compare to you. I have one last question. Say it. What if... Lee Bentong runs away with the app you developed and kicks you out of the project. If you end up back in that basement, will you still want me then? Wait. Do you know something I don't? I said if, and that's it. If, huh? Been an entrepreneur for a while, seen my fair share of scams and dirty dealings. Now, even if I'm about to get the app done, and Li Bantang comes along and kicks me out of the team, it'd be normal. There's always that possibility. Nothing strange about it. Whether I succeed or not, no longer matters to me, really. We've been apart for so long. I won't lie anymore. To me, the most important lesson entrepreneurship has taught me is that the most important thing to a person's life is to find their one true love. Huawei, what I asked you was, if you fail all over again and lose everything you've gained, in the end, would you still come back to me? Please tell me. I wouldn't. I disappear. <laughs> I would disappear from your world forever. Because if a man's Unable to make the woman he loves happy. He doesn't deserve love at all. You wouldn't see me ever again. Tonight's stage is not for me. I only wish to share two things while I have your attention. First, there have been major changes in terms of equity structure in Keelin. A few of my close friends and partners have left the firm due to poor physical conditions and others. However, I wouldn't like to have 90% of the company's shares on my own. In fact, I would like to share them with talents all over the world. As long as you're gifted in something, I would welcome you with arms wide open. With ulterior motives or not, I'll take it. 
I have a great deal of Killian's shares to gladly share with you. The second is something you already know. Killian is Magic Crystal's controlling shareholder. I'm preparing for a huge upgrade and a relaunch. What I can assure you is that it'll meet everyone with a fresh new look. And it's going to stun the entire world. Next, I'd like to invite Magic Crystal's father, Guo Xinyan, to come up. A hero most worthy of respect in the mobile network scene today. Everyone, please all welcome Guo Xinyan. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to say up here? Whatever you want. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I didn't exactly prepare a speech today because I was called up here by surprise. But since I'm already here, I'll use this platform and chance to bid everyone farewell. Even though this is goodbye, I can truly say I feel very happy because I've done something I've always wanted to do. I made it, I achieved my dream. The software I have developed is changing everybody's lives all over the world. And I'm proud of that. Throughout the journey, a lot of people have helped me and impacted me. I owe you my gratitude for being able to stand here. I'd also like to thank the Magic Crystal team for being with me through all of our ups and downs, and for working till late night, no matter what we've been through. I'm proud of every one of you, for we've managed to create Magic Crystal! My best wishes to each of you. I wish for you to do even better, and that you'll have a broader prospect. I've had some spare time lately, so I read some books. I came across this poem that greatly moved me. I wrote it down on my phone. I would like to read it to you and to share it with you as well. It's what my heart wishes to say. The name of the poem is Invictus by William Ernest. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit, from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul!
Why did you bring me here? It's called Lover's Bar. Only people in love can come here. lively it is in that stadium. Every football fan is excited. But in reality, they'll always only cheer for the winner. Come on now, that's not true. People also cheered for you today when you were on stage. It was from the bottom of their hearts. Or perhaps it was sympathy from the bottom of their hearts. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Endings are considered as whole new beginnings. <laughs> that was a beautiful poem. Now I want to know what your new beginning will be. I finally finished coating all of Magic Crystal. From this point on, there will be only one program for me to write. And that's you. I'll work hard on it. You'll become the most beautiful program I'll have ever written. Are you confessing your love to me? If I had a ring with me at this very moment, I would ask you to marry me. Alright, that settles it then. I want you to write the love we share. To be as grand and as wonderful and as epic as Magic Crystal. My name is Hua Xinyan. Does my name ring a bell? Make sure that Magic Crystal becomes the best app. I promise that if you succeed, I'll refuse everything and everyone just so I can have dinner with you. The day Magic Crystal launches, that's going to be a red letter day for the two of us. I have a word with you. I'm Nolan. Why didn't you tell me? Well, you know now, don't you? Because you and I created Magic Crystal. For in my heart, I'm Magic Crystal's dad, and you are its mother. See you, goofhead. <laughs> <laughs> Could 
could I ask for one more? I'm sure the heavens will grant another one. I love you. I wanted to hear your voice. Luo Xunyan, are you out of your mind? Luo Xunyan, are you out of your mind? That's it. That's the voice. Well, that's pretty much it. In the future, we'll have a whole lot more fun in the finance sector than in IT. We are now challenging the traditional banking business. Do you feel worried? Worried about what? Getting sued like Magic Crystal? No, about whether you'd end up director of the central bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But if you could be the director of the central bank, I wouldn't have worries. It requires dealings with a lot of banks to make transfers across other banks possible. Even so, the joke you just made wasn't funny. Anyway, back to our topic. The apps developed by banks are a real pain to use, and each bank has a password generator. If we could make transfers across banks possible, then, within 10 years, no, even sooner than that, people won't have use for cash. Then that means we'll then become a virtual bank in our very essence. In the future, there will be huge amounts of money that will be stored right on this app. Are you really not worried about that at all? Well, you have to walk your own path. You can't stop walking for fear of falling down. Uh, if you're not worried, then I'm not either, okay? Your welcome page isn't done yet. Right. I'll think about it. Think about it. I need a good welcome page for this. I think the app is too functional. The best thing about Kilin is its entertainment value. You could open Kilin at any time and spend a fair amount of time on it. Being too functional might cost us a great deal of users. Think about it. In the meantime... Well, that's all. Thank you. It's impressive you've done so much in such a short period. Dad, where's Dong? He already confessed. That's right, he confessed everything. So you could get out.
All right. So I've reported everything on the new app. Next, I would like to know what my boss would like to say to me. I've prepared everything you need, and I have enough funding for you. With that, you'll be in charge of upgrading, maintaining, and redeveloping the application. Your offices are not going to be in this building. In fact, I'm going to build you a grander one. You won't be disappointed with your annual pay and benefits. How about that? It's not enough. <laughs> I heard that you're going to, I don't know, that you'll kick me out of the game once the app's completed. Is that true? And where did you hear that? Doesn't matter. Was that your plan all along? I thought I was perfectly clear the last time we talked. If you still have doubts about this, I would only suggest that you leave. Just go home. Pack your things and go. You won't do that to me. You're not that kind of person. Why? Because if you were, Killin wouldn't be successful. But to be honest with you, boss, you're a big boss here while I'm an entrepreneur. I have no sense of security. I'm sure you can understand that. I have, in essence, finished the app already. If what I feared with this actually happens, then there's nothing I can do. Now, I really don't want to talk to you about technology, future trends, or any of those fancy stuff. It's awkward. But I think it's high time for an entrepreneur to discuss money with his boss. I asked you for shares, but you said no. What you decided to give me is not enough for me. You know for a fact that the app was developed by us both. In the future, you could have tons of engineers and framework builders under your belt who are better than me to work on upgrades and maintenance. To be frank, I'm not irreplaceable. I need some security. Otherwise, an entrepreneur's story of dying before success, ah, that would be too much. It's tragic. You have some strange qualities. You have a tendency to hide insecurity with arrogance. There's no need for that. Nothing wrong with a tragic story. A tragic story can help educate people about the world. I can say you don't need a sense of security. What you need is time. It took me and my friends 10 years to build Killen into what it is today. I'm betting Sincom will usher Killen into the next 10 years, 20, even 50 years. Therefore, if you're willing to look into the same direction, as well as the same height, and pursue the same dream, then in 10 or maybe 20 years, the two of us will see the same thing. You and I will be brothers. Right then, you'll come to know but I, Lee Bantam, never bestreets his brothers.
Attorney Wong and his assistant from our financial group in Hong Kong. Oh, hello. Will he sign it now, or will he rest for a bit? He can sign it now. He doesn't need to rest. All right. Here. Wait, what am I signing? A transfer agreement. You're to relinquish all of your property. All cars, houses, bank accounts, as well as all shares under your name. We'll be transferring them to the family fund in Buenos Aires. And why should I hand them over? <laughs> why transfer my properties? Are you disowning me, Dad? It's been decided by the family. I asked you to come to the mainland to establish connections and broaden your network to prepare you to take over my position. I granted you the investment so you could prove your value and establish your reputation back home. I have tolerated all the troubles you've created. You were born with a good deck of cards, but you have messed everything up! Let me tell you, you are nothing without your family. During the investigation on Dong Ru Hai, the police found new leads and decided to reopen their investigation on Chin Tin Bong and his son, Chin Chang. Do I get to walk you home every day now? You can if you want to. It'd be wonderful if that's the only thing I have to do. You know I'm never satisfied. But come to think of it, there's nothing to be sorry for. Because I know that even if I've lost everything I've had, I still have you, Nala. Do you remember? What I told you before once? That if I spend a long time somewhere, I'd get bored and would like to see the outside world? To be completely honest, I feel that way right now. <gasps> I have a question for you, Guashin Yan. If you ever have to choose between magic crystal and love, which would you pick? Don't ever let me choose between those two. Magic Crystal is our child, and you won't have the heart to abandon your child either. When you have the time, take me to Tibet. Yeah, of course. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. Auntie. Uh, hello, Auntie. What are you doing? You two can talk indoors. Well, it's getting... It's getting late. I really should get going. Hold on. I heard you talking about a child. What's going on here? Whose child is it? Uh... <laughs> You should go. Hurry. Move. What's going on here? I should go. Bye, Auntie. Bye-bye. Hey! Mom! Let's hey. go inside. Stop being Tell me what's going on. What child. Whatever it is, it doesn't concern you. Whose child is it? <laughs> Yeah. 
Dad, Mom, it's already late. I want to go to bed. Come on. Don't ask about my personal affairs anymore, please. I'm begging you. Not a chance. You and Guoxin Yan, what's going on with you? You have to explain. Tell him. Oh. Do I really have to report everything to you? Yes. You should know, Nalan. If you want a relationship, your mom and I won't interfere on one condition. Before you make any decision, you must tell us what the person is like and what he had been up to before. You need to tell us those details. You have to learn from your previous mistakes. I don't get it, Dad. You already know Gua Yan and how he is. Why are you asking about him now? I heard Xin Chong has been released from jail. He's been released? But how come? It's because Dong confessed. He said that the girl was transferred to Luca's bed right under his instructions. So in turn, Tin Chang was exculpated. That's why he has been released. I don't believe Tin Chang had nothing to do with all that. And you're right. That wasn't the end of it. The Anti-Corruption Bureau is also involved in the investigation against them. Considering you've been in a relationship with Tin Chong, well, I'm still afraid just thinking about it. Therefore, when it comes to boyfriends, I need to know everything. Your father made a wise decision when he didn't take the three million shares from Tin Chen Bang. If he took them, we would surely be in big trouble by now. Xinyan. Good morning. What are you doing here? I just wanted to come visit. You've plenty of time on your hands. Have you been living in the office? I have. There's so much space here. Also, the lease won't be up for another two months. You don't lock the door when you're alone? Why lock the door? Who would come in here? Would they come for my money or my good looks? <laughs> How are things with Nalan? We're going to have a date. She'll be here when she's done with work. We're going to have some hot pot together. I know you've been a little down lately. Don't just sit there. You should go walk around. Walk around? Where else can I go? Everyone's gone. Someone has to wrap things up around here. I still need to go to the notary office. When I get there, I have to transfer the shares to Killin. And of course, I still have to negotiate contracts. <sighs> Oh. <sighs> 
What's this? This is for you. Why are you giving me these? Because those shares belong to you. And so is that apartment. All of that is yours. <laughs> yes, but these were my gifts to you. I can't take them. I have no use for them anymore. Because I'm leaving. And where to? I'll be leaving for Buenos Aires. What are you going to do there? This is my last hug. I sincerely wish you and Nala happiness. Starting from now on, Wendy shall be our comrade through trials and tribulations! Please forgive me. I've fallen in love with you. And with another woman's voice. Hello, Mr. Tin. It's Wendy. I've made up my mind. I have decided to be your fund manager. Please prepare the contract. Goodbye. Morning, Miss Nala. Morning. Nala. Mr. Pong, what are you doing here? Wendy is gone. She's resigned. It's about time she did. Thank 
求，邂逅你在左右，陪我从。邂逅你。